<laughs> hey, all right, everybody. How's it going? Now, I saw an article yesterday, I think it was, about Shell, and uh, it was talking about they're going to close down a thousand petrol stations. And I was like, meh. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, today, I seen that the uh, Electric Viking, he did the story on his video channel. So I thought, I'll have another look at this story and have a little think about it. And what I, what's my thoughts on the story? Now, my thoughts are this. Now, Shell has said over the next two years, they're going to shut down. It's, it's 500, uh, like, retail places where they sell petrol and stuff this year and 500 next year. So it's a thousand altogether. Now, you might think, oh, a thousand. That's a lot, but it's, it's world, worldwide, what I think is Europe and China. So there's some in the UK as well. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the sort of thing. Now, I'll get to what I want to talk about because it is relevant. Um, but they say they're going to shut down a thousand petrol stations or wherever they sell petrol, OK? Um, and uh, like I said, is some a little part of them in Europe and most of them are in China, okay? But here's the thing. I think they've got altogether 46,000 sites to sell petrol and diesel and whatever. Um, but they, but, so you could go, oh, boo, hiss, chuck them off. <laughs> a thousand, a thousand out of 46,000 isn't a lot. There's still a lot left. Um, but what they said was they're gonna get rid of a thousand over two years and they're going to be replaced by uh, EV charging and they're going to try and triple the amount of EV chargers because I think they've got 54,000 worldwide and they want 200,000. And again, most of them would be in China. Now, so you could say that story is a bit of a wet flannel um, because it's not going to be that much in the UK and Europe, uh, but it is a step in the right direction. Well, a step in the right direction if you are pro-electrification and a step in the wrong direction if you love petrol and diesel. So stories like that, um, for the people who hate EVs, would probably say, ah, it's a load of rubbish. That story's a load of rubbish. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. A lot, a lot of, a lot of um, uh, anti-EV people it's hard to say that word without trying to put it together. Anti-EV people uh, like to say stories where uh, companies are divested, divesting in, diverting or di divest, investing and diverting. <laughs> I'm trying to make up a new word then. Um, so they're investing and divert into different things like electrification. And the people who hate EVs will say, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen because if I moan about it constantly, then it won't happen. But the world doesn't work like that. The governments, even um, in the in the U USA now, Biden has said today, I think it's today, no, it was yesterday, sorry, um, they're going to have the most stringent uh, pollution uh, things. The EPA have said something about... Um, Cars are going to be cleaner by 2032, so that that is actually set off rolling now. I don't know how good that is because I haven't I haven't looked at the story. But anyway, I'm look I'm going off on a tangent somewhere else now. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was this. So Shell have said a thousand um, petrol stations, chuck them in the stingies, and bang some EV chargers in. Now most of them are in China because China is definitely going towards electrification quicker than anywhere else. Well, except Norway, because Norway is almost already there. But the, the new car sales are nearly all electric, so Norway's already there. Um, and has Norway fallen apart because they've got loads of electric cars? They, they're buying all electric cars? No, it hasn't. So there we go. <laughs> um, now, so a thousand, Shell said a thousand, that's a little tiptoe towards the right direction like I said if you are all in on electrification of cars um, but what I wanted to say was as electrification sort of does go further forward uh, then more and more petrol stations are going to close down and are going to have uh, EV charging there instead okay now 
if you like I said, if you hate EVs, this is going to be terrible, terrible news for you because if like, like the governments have set out steps where you know petrol and diesel cars are going to become fewer and fewer eventually. Now, if a, if a petrol and diesel cars become fewer and fewer, then the profitability for petrol stations, which is it isn't that much profit anyway, I don't think. Um, I mean, petrol, people who make petrol make loads of profit, but there's not massive... I don't know, maybe I'm talking a load of ghoulies, OK? But I don't think they make loads and loads of money on petrol itself, selling it in the stations. When you think of all the ho overheads, how many cars come in, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I might be saying it. I, I don't think they make a lot of money on... I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to stop. I'm going to quit when I'm ahead. Because <laughs> I don't know how much money they make per... Uh, garage okay it might be some more somewhere else it might be less somewhere else I don't know so I'm not gonna give an opinion on that because my opinion isn't educated and I don't want to be one of them people who gives uneducated opinions so I'll I'll scrap that bit that's gone right forget that bit <laughs> so let's just go back to so eventually they're gonna start getting rid of petrol stations or gas stations um, and in their place will be EV charging hubs. Now, like I said, if you if you think it's not going to happen, it's never going to happen, then don't worry, you carry on with your life <laughs> and don't worry about it. But it is going to happen. It's more, more than likely going to happen because that's the way all the governments around the world are heading. OK, so you can't stop it. You, you can't stop them because that's the way it's heading. Now, that means that petrol stations are going to become, become few and far between and then it's going to turn it's going to switch then to uh, range anxiety in a petrol car or diesel car because they're going to say where can they charge to so that, that was the point I was trying to head towards to it took me a long time to get to it but uh, with Shell saying that and there are I think there are wasn't it there is a um, a petrol selling garage that was in London somewhere that changed to EV charging. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. And it took out all the pumps and it changed it to EV charging. Now, that might have happened in other places as well. I think it's happening over in Europe as well. Certain places are changing to EV hubs. So if you are an anti EV person, you should be scared right now <laughs> because it. it It'll be a while, don't panic, it'll be a while. And by the time it all changes round, you'll be on board with electric cars by then anyway. So don't worry about it, don't panic. All you people who are against EVs and, and don't like EV drivers, calm down, it'll all work itself out. Everything will be fine. T trust me, I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it will be fine, it will be, it'll be absolutely fine. Don't panic. Anyway, that was my take on the Shell thing. I, I'm not excited about it that much because, like I said, most of it is in China. Uh, it'll be a long time before they get rid of 46,000 uh, places where they sell petrol. Uh, but it will happen. It, it slowly and more and more will happen eventually over time. Anyway, if you like this video, even if you hated this video, like it, dislike it, call me a git face in the comment section and subscribe. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -hoi.